What makes you feel grateful? I asked that question today in my newsletter and went out on my podcast as well. It's newsletter.invinciblecareer.com. This is issue 331 if you want to check it out. But I talked a little bit about the benefits of expressing gratitude and how good that is for your sense of happiness and joy, your self-esteem, even your physical health. It's pretty incredible. And I think we often, hopefully, (laughs) do a good job of showing that we're grateful to our friends and our family. But what I was pointing out in the newsletter is that I don't think we express gratitude in a meaningful way to the people in our professional circle. Probably not as much as we should or not really in the, the more meaningful way that we should. I think we all do the kind of the cursory, thank you, if someone does something for us, like sends an email for us, uh, finishes a project on time, hey, good job. The bosses send uh, an email every time of, of year right around now where it's like, thanks for working so hard this year. You make everything possible. There's more hard work coming next year. That's not really expressing gratitude. That's that's lazy. Uh, so what I talked about in the newsletter and the podcast, uh, if and when you listen to it, is that there is a more meaningful way to do that, to really go deeper and be very specific that shows you understand that person, that you've really been paying attention to what they've done throughout the year, what they've done for you, what they've done for the team. So check it out. Um, I had nine different groups of people that you should consider looking at to express your gratitude this year professionally. And that's at newsletter.invinciblecareer.com. So, uh, Have a a wonderful day and evening preparing for your Thanksgiving feast tomorrow for those of you that celebrate it. And um, I'll talk to you again later.